Hey everybody, it's Denise. I just wanted to do a quick product review on a sugar-free, low-carb chocolate chip that uh, I had purchased. And, um, okay, for starters, the, the brand is People's Keto. And as you see, it says, chocolate chips, stevia sweetened. Um, good thing about them? They taste just like regular chocolate chips as far as I'm concerned. Um, the chips are a little on the small side. I can show you from the package. I keep them 60 chips is 50 calories. So for me, it's like if I just feel like a little bit of a, a chocolate craving, then these are, they're a little, maybe a little smaller than your standard baking chips, but they're, uh, and it's, it's not like I'm usually even going to eat the full 60 within a day, certainly not all at once. But I did run them by my doctor, the one who did my weight loss surgery. And he said as long as they don't trigger a craving then to go eating uh, sweetened chocolate that he had no problem with me eating them from a, a dietary perspective. One thing I did want to point out, though, was I feel like the packaging is a little... Uh, I don't want to say dishonest, because if you look at the ingredients, it's listed that stevia is not the primary sweetener. Um, but it is misleading. How about we say that? Because, again, you, you're looking at the front of the package. It says stevia sweetened, right? Now, I personally don't have any sort of bad reaction or problem with erythritol or uh, some of the other sugar alcohol artificial sweeteners. But I do think if that's what your primary sweetener is, that you should mention it um, and not misrepresent that this is like a purely stevia sweetened product, which the front of the package certainly makes you think. And then to take it one step further, when you look at the back of the package, there's a little statement here telling you about the product, which I'm going to put on the granny glasses to read to you. Our chocolate chips are sweetened with stevia with no added sugar and is perfect for making desserts, bars, cookies, brownies, nut butters, and more. Naturally non-GMO, gluten-free, and plant-based. Our no added sugar dark chocolate chips have 25% fewer calories and carbs while delivering 100% indulgence with 100% less added sugar than conventional chocolate chips. So again, if you just read that, you'd be like, okay, they're, they're sweetened with stevia. There's no sugar awesome. It's not until you actually get down to the, uh, the bottom here, to the this little section where the ingredients are, that you see unsweetened chocolate. The second ingredient is erythritol, then cocoa butter, then stevia extract, and then sunflower lecithin. So there's more erythritol in here than there is stevia. I feel like they're really misrepresenting by calling them stevia sweetened. Now, like I said, I'm not someone who has a health problem with it, but I know that there are people who do avoid it. So I just wanted to point out, if you're looking at this product and thinking, cool, I'm someone who uses stevia as my sweetener of choice because I do eat lower carb. Um, you know, like I said, the brand name is People's Keto. I don't eat keto, but I do eat low carb. And I think you could very accidentally purchase this product thinking that it is sweetened only with stevia. It's very misrepresenting that not only is there erythritol in it, but there's more erythritol than there is stevia. So just wanted to mention that. Like I said, they taste great. I've used them, uh, I've stuck them in, in uh, baking. And I've just used them, basically, I just use them to nibble on if I feel like having a little bit of chocolate. But I, um, I, do, I do think that their packaging is misleading. So if that's something that's important to you, you should know that about the product. I, um, one other product that I'm going to mention. Now, I purchased these at one of those rest areas along the thruway on a very long drive. So I don't know if the price I paid there, which I think was outrageously high, 
I don't know if that's the price you would pay if you bought them somewhere else. It might have been one of those cases of they know you've got they've got you. You know, the prices are higher usually because you're on the throughway, you know, unless you feel like really making your trip longer by getting off an exit, finding a store, blah 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 in an area that you might not even be familiar with. No. Most of us if we stop on these rest areas, we're going to take advantage of what they offer there to to eat. I was looking for something lower carb to snack on. Um, so they had like the little gift shop, snack shop, and they had a Starbucks. Now any of the baked goods and stuff at the Starbucks obviously are going to be made with regular flour and sugar and are going to not be low carb. So I found this bag of Emmy's Organics. Uh, organic coconut cookies and I got the peanut butter ones. They also had chocolate ones. Uh, these, first of all, this this bag was nine dollars. Their serving size is one cookie and it says servings per container nine. So that's a dollar per cookie. Um, they are higher fat than than I care for. Uh, they're eight per per cookie. I might as well just tell you, 110 calories, eight grams of fat. Um, total of this is terrible. Even with even with my granny glasses, I need more light. Um, this damn printing just gets smaller and smaller every day. That's what I say when I can't see. Total carbs are eight grams. Uh, net carbs are six grams because there is two, there is two grams of fiber and there's three grams of protein. So, you know, what I was looking for was the lowest carb, highest protein thing I could find a snack on. Um, this was my choice basically. Like I said, I think a dollar per cookie is ludicrously expensive, and if I wasn't starving and still had three hours to go, I would not have paid nine dollars. Um, this is how big a cookie is for a dollar a piece. Now, they, um, they are squishy. They remind me more of the texture of like a soft protein bar. Um, as you see, they, they just kind of squish. So there's, to me, they're really, the texture isn't like a cookie, but I guess they had to call them something. They're more like, you know, like an unbaked cookie, like, um, like I said, the texture just reminds me of, of a protein bar. They're made primarily with coconut, uh, when you eat them, you definitely get both the texture and the flavor of shredded coconut in there. And then, of course, the peanut butter flavor. So, my first first impression was, look, I'm, I'm turning it into a, a ball. <laughs> um, now, instead of being a, a puck, it, it looks like a little peanut butter meatball, if that gives you any idea of the texture. Um, my first impression was, wow, these are weird tasting, but I'm so hungry, I don't care, I'm having one. Um, they, they did grow on me, as you can see by the fact that I, well, prior to squishing this one, uh, there were four left, so over the course of the weekend being away, and these were the snack I had with me, I did eat a few more of them, and they, and they did kind of grow on me as I ate them. It's just that first initial bite was a little bit weird. Because, again, like the texture was just a little odd. Um, it in no way, way resembled a cookie, not a soft-baked cookie, not a crispy cookie, nothing that I would call a cookie. Um, I think if they had called them, like, protein bites or, well, there's only three grams of protein. I don't know. Something bites or snacks or... I just don't feel like the word cookie really applies. If you can crumble it up and roll it into a ball and it perfectly sticks together, to me that's that's not a cookie texture. But uh, I digress. 
Um, overall, if they were less expensive, I would say they were worth it. But at $9 for a bag of nine of them, I think that's really a high price. For, for that kind of price, I would expect a product that had, you know, a healthier nutrition profile, because clearly it's a product that's being offered as an al alternative to standard snacks. So if you're offering it as a healthier option and you're going to charge that kind of price for it, then I think you should make it a healthier option. There shouldn't be so much fat. There should be more protein. And again, it was desperation. There I was on the, you know, at a rest stop with, with no options really. So was it better than being hungry the whole trip? Yeah, it was. Would I recommend them at half the price? Definitely. They'd be worth trying. Do I think you should pay $9 for these? No, I don't. I think that's, I think that's ridiculous. And again, maybe they are much cheaper if you buy them somewhere else. Maybe it was only so expensive because of where I purchased them. Maybe if, I've never seen them at a store near me, but I live in the sticks, so you don't see a lot of uh, non-mainstream sort of products at the stores near me. You, you just don't. So that's really, um, I, I can't give you a comparative price to buying it locally at a regular grocery store because none of the stores near me carry anything like them. But that's, um, that's just kind of my opinion on them considering where I purchased them and how they taste and their nutrition profile. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative. Please hit the like button. And uh, if you have watched any of my other videos, either reviews or following my weight loss journey or any of the sometimes just assorted topics that I occasionally cover, usually the product reviews or uh, related to, to weight loss, I did have weight loss surgery and lost about 100 pounds um, total between getting ready for the surgery and then what I lost after it. So please do subscribe if you'd be interested and check out some of my other videos. And I thank you for taking the time to watch and I hope you found some useful information from what I shared. Have a great day.